Niger State has come under serious security challenges due to activities of bandits suspected to be Earth's men. It's the reason the governor is meeting with the EU delegation and to also look into opportunities in the livestock sector. The governor, while presenting his paper to the delegation, says, except the old system where Earth's men move around with their animals are stopped and the ranching method adopted, the conflict will continue. The era of moving cattle thousands of kilometers is over because there is no way you can avoid conflicts because you cannot control when you move 1,000 cows on foot, you can't control or they must, they must step into someone's farm. And that has been a result of uh, uh, conflicts. It is a good thing that um, we have woken up to this uh, a bit late, but uh, better late than never. The European Union is equally worried about the insecurity in the north, where farmers' herders' clashes arise, as it is about the insurgency in the northeast, which still witnesses pockets of attacks. But for the Niger situation, the head of the EU delegation to Nigeria, Kettle Carlson, says EU officials are following the Bobi Grazing Reserve development in the state and gives an assurance that there are European companies looking for models to work on. The EU <coughs> remains uh, the biggest trading partner to Nigeria. So if you look at exports coming from Nigeria, more than half of them are destined for European uh, markets. We uh, remain a, a vital investor <coughs> in this country. We are collectively uh, between the member states here present and the European Union delegation, the biggest provider of development. <laughs> The areas of cooperation include modern ways of migrating from the local cattle breed to produce at least 20 litres of milk per day or 600 kilograms of beef in 18 months. Emperor Simon, Channel Television News.